family and welcome to Kitchenasium. Today we are making eggnog snickerdoodles. So I'm very excited to be making this because I love eggnog and I love snickerdoodles so we're kind of like mushing them in together and making eggnog snickerdoodles. So to start off you're going to take a cup of flour and three-fourths of a teaspoon of cornstarch and three-fourths of a teaspoon of baking powder and put it in with the flour and then you'll be taking an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, a fourth of a teaspoon of the nutmeg, and a half of a teaspoon of the cinnamon. And then we'll just whisk those together, and those make the dry ingredients of our cookies. And next we're going to mix together the wet ingredients. And we're going to start with two tablespoons of melted butter, one fourth of a cup of eggnog. Mix that together. And now that we've put in our butter and eggnog, we're going to put in our teaspoon of vanilla. And now we're going to add in a fourth of a cup of granulated sugar and a fourth of a cup of brown sugar. And we're going to whisk that together. So now we're going to start by adding in some of the flour. It smells so good. The smell of the nutmeg. This is like a real workout, like... And now once it's all combined, it will be this kind of consistency. So now we're going to put this in the refrigerator for 30 minutes to set up some more. Now that our cookie dough has set up for 30 minutes, we are going to now roll it in 3 tablespoons of granulated sugar, 1 fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon, and 1 eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. A grounded nutmeg is what we used. Oh my god, the inside of this has two cups in one cup. I've never seen that before. <laughs> and I have my cookie sheet and a small ice cream scoop because this is not a big recipe. So I want to get a lot of cookies out of it, even if they're just a little. Once it's all covered in granulated sugar, I'm just going to roll it into more of a ball. And there's a snickerdoodle cookie. So I'm just going to keep making this, keep making more. And this is the time where you want to preheat your oven to 350. Once you cover it in granulated sugar, or the sugar coating mixture, it's so easy to roll out and less sticky. And I love using ice cream scoops like this because everything is just the same size and it's all perfect. And it looks like, wow, how'd you get them all the same size? What kind of stuff do you guys do to, for the holidays? I'm having a cookie party, so I'm making all sorts of different kind of stuff for it. And for the holidays, my family, we live next to Disney and Universal. So we go to the parks as like a family trip for the holidays. So it's lots of fun and we all get together and go to the parks. Yeah, comment in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys do for the holidays. I'm going to keep rolling out my cookies and I'll see you back when they're ready to go into the oven. Right before they go into the oven, I just take a piece of parchment paper and push down just to flatten them out a little bit. And then we're going to put them in the oven at 350 degrees. I'll see you back when they're cooked. Our eggnog cookies have come out of the oven and they look so perfect. You can see that they're glistening with all the sugar on top and it, they are so beautiful. The perfect size, that tiny little ice cream scoop. They smell so good. And I'm not going to try one today because I'm saving these for the cookie party that I'm having so everyone can try them. Because like I said, this is like a, this recipe makes like a dozen cookies. It made a dozen and four extra cookies. So 16 cookies is what I got out of this. So I want to make sure everybody can try them at the party. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Kitchenasium to make eggnog cookies. And go watch more Kitchenasium videos. I have a pumpkin cookie video that you could watch. Well, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and subscribe, like, and comment down below. See you next time. Bye!